So, um, in MRCOG, there's lots of questions about the arches, but on in Strat Talk, I barely found one. Um, but just to highlight that arches is different from pouch and also cleft. But in the RCOG, they only ask about the uh, pouch and cleft. So, let's begin with it. So, basically, we are talking about this structure. this one two three four five and six so we have one two arches three four the fifth one is just a rudimentary it does not uh, contribute to any structure and number six probably have um, some explanations on that so basically we are talking about this and uh, this structure is called pharyngeal arches and exactly what it's turned into basically just um, is the lower face and also the neck. So let's just give some some kind of imaginations where actually this uh, formed into. So basically it's forming this. So there's an ear here. So it's a girl with the current uh, beauty standards with a big lips, perhaps. <laughs> okay, so we are basically talk about this structure. So just to fill in this table. So we have uh, arches here. Since uh, we have the nerves, that's coming from the ectodium, the uh, blood vessels vessels, the bone, and the muscles. So this, all of this from the mesoderm. Uh, just to recall, we have three layers of uh, the germ layer, the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. So the ectoderm get, uh, will become the skin, the brain and beauty with brain skin and also the nerves nerves uh, mesoderms will be the the bone the muscles the blood vessels um, the reproductive is the most important one reproductive organs that needs to go through further and endoderm is basically the endocrine the GIT and also the lung. Okay, so now uh, we have one, two, three, four, skip the five, and this one is the sixth one. Okay, so just remember this because it's just simple. It's not difficult to remember this number, I guess. And we just focus on the next three things. So I divide it into four because we have four things, right, to be described. So let's go to the blood vessels. So now um, we have the aortic arch, which divides, in, which goes into three. So we have the left common uh, carotid external and internal carotid internal carotid there will be a lot of branches but we want to highlight on the branch that goes to the stapes step stapes okay and then this is the external carotid <clears throat> this is the common this is the left common left so this is the brachial Brachiocephaly, it's on the, for the right side. 
and on the right side it's this subclavian so it has another three branches and don't forget about this the most important especially on the anterior abdomen we have the internal thoracic artery okay so this one is the stick Stipedo artery. This is the internal carotid. And here we have the pulmonary artery, which so we have the ligamentous. Uh, ligamentum arteriosus as a rudimentary so let's just make our life easier by thinking but in a systematic way so we have the left carotid which is arrived from the first laryngeal we have this stapedial which is arrived from the second and we have the common from from the third laryngeal arches the subclavian and also the aortic arch is the fourth one. We don't have the fifth one, but we have the sixth one of the pulmonary artery. All right. So that's the how do we remember those? So let's go to the bone. So what do we have just like in this picture? So it includes the, of course, the maxilla. Sorry, so we have the maxilla here. Forget about this maxilla, and we have the mandible. After that, we have the higher bone. Something like this. And then we have the tyrant cartilage. And we have the cricoid cartilages. And this is the trachea. So we have the larynx here, which includes the epigloitis. And we have the Laryngeal uh, other cartilages, laryngeal cartilages, which includes the erythenoid. This is from inside. This is the thyroid cartilage. So from inside, we see the epiglottis, and we have the uh, erythenoid here. The night erythenoid, and uh, we have the cricoid down below and there is another here which is a corniculate so all of this is the laryngeal so let's begin to make our life easy so first is the maxilla and mandible from the first laryngeal arch and then the higher of course higher um, it has uh, two parts of the bones um, and also the, yeah, I forgot, uh, the two will produce, will also our stapes. Um, let's draw from the ear and there will be a tympanic membrane and then there will be the, uh, malleolus and then the incus and the stapes. And this will be the cochlea and all. So the number two will also give rise to stapes. So that's filling.
Vegas, uh, accessories, how to spell accessories, X A C C accessories, and hypoglossus. So it's number five here, trigeminal. Trigeminal, that's why it's uh, the mastications, the facial, the facial expressions. And then uh, number nine, sorry, Lusopharyngeus, uh, the stylopharyngeal, the vagus, uh, yeah, the vagus times two. Sorry for this. So I hope it's it, this can help uh, to remember this pharyngeal arches.